Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect PLC SIM Advanced to Visual Components using OPC UA protocol. To get started, you can see I have my PLC SIM Advanced here, and it's running. I have the device configured. For using OPC UA, you want to make sure you have the PLC SIM Virtual Ethernet adapter turned on. My communication type is local, and here's the IP address, subnet mask, and just make sure it matches what you have configured in TIA Portal. So if we take a look at TIA Portal, here is my program, just a simple ladder for a sensor and a motor, as well as a timer. And if we take a look, for the project itself in TIA Portal, if you access its properties, if you're going to try this on your own, go to Protection, and make sure you have this checkbox selected called Support Simulation During Block Copulation. For your PLC itself, access its properties. And you should have this option called OPC UA. If you don't, you either need to use a different PLC or update the firmware. For example, the S7-1200 and S7-1500 PLCs should allow you to either directly connect to visual components using OPC UA or in TIA Portal. So with these options, one thing to note, is you want to turn on this checkbox here. So your PLC is running as an OPC UA server and Visual Components, which you can see on the left side, is running as an OPC UA client. So the client can connect to the server. And here's the address for connecting to it. And you can customize the OPC UA server properties here in TIA Portal if you want. One thing to note is you do need a certificate in TIA Portal, so either small, medium, or large. If you configure your PLC project, it will prompt you to have that certificate. So I'll click OK. And other than that, it's about it. What I did is save my work, compiled the project, loaded it into PLC Sim Advanced, and I'm also online so I can actually see in real time what's happening with the PLC. So if I want, I can go over to the Visual Components side. If you look at the connectivity configuration, I'm using the OPC UI plugin here. I have one server right now that I'm connecting to. I map some variables from my simulation, in this case my sensor, and from the server side I'm getting feedback of when to turn on or off the conveyor. And you can see those mappings here, the values, down below. And if I run my simulation, here comes a box. The sensor value right now is false, so the conveyor is on, but when we detect the box we turn off the conveyor wait five seconds and turn it back on. And I'm very quickly able to verify my PLC program works, both in Visual Components and in TIA Portal. So here's a box again. And after five seconds, move on down the line. And if we want, let's reset and take a look at more information. So I might have gone rather quickly for you if you're planning on doing this yourself. My colleague Yuri did make a PowerPoint presentation for you that I'll include a link to. So he walks you through about what you have to do to connect visual components to PLC SIM Advanced. You first want to make sure your network can support it. So do this step. Then open PLC SIM Advanced and make sure it matches the configuration you have in TIA Portal. And then from TIA Portal, like I showed you earlier in the video, make sure it supports simulation. Select the PLC that can support OPC UA. It should provide you a description here if it can or cannot. In your case, if you're directly connecting your own PLC, like a 1200 or 1500, make sure you do have the firmware updated that, so it can support OPC UA communication. For the properties itself, you might want to define that. Right now in my project, I'm using, I believe is the default IP address, so 192.168.0.1. You activate the OPC UA server in your PLC, and make sure you have the port number defined. And here's an issue about the certificate I mentioned, so it can be a small, medium, or large. It's really easy to get this certificate in TIA Portal. And then you load your program into the PLC and run it. And from there, you go to Visual Components and connect to the PLC, running in PLC Sim Advanced, and map the inputs and outputs. So you could do this tutorial using Visual Components Essentials. That's really helpful if you just want to learn 
how to validate your PLC program and use ready-made components we have in our e-catalog library. But if you're going to be using this for virtual commissioning, you would want to use probably Visual Components Professional or Premium because that would allow you to customize your own components for your PLC programs. All right, this completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. And as always, have a wonderful day.